Sir, we are receiving some kind of signal from the mercenary ship. These are Commander Riker's access codes. He is attempting to shut down our shields. That doesn't make sense. He knows those codes would have been changed as soon as he was captured. That is correct, Counselor. He does know. Mr. Worf, prepare to drop shields. Sir, we would be totally defenseless. I am aware of that. Sir, as soon as they see us... Mr. Worf, that is an order. Aye, sir. Ooh, snap. Lieutenant Worf is here. Michael Dorn, welcome. I know. The legend. Thank you. Listen, first of all, I said, do you ever watch these episodes back? Because they're still just as thrilling. I used to. I used to. But I know everyone by heart now, so I don't, I don't really do it anymore. Do you really? And okay. I also read that you were the most seen character in character out of all of the characters throughout yes. the series. Yes. Well, I, was, I, was, um, I did more, more episodes than anybody. Because you were that good. Let's talk about well, how what you... What can I tell you? It's, it's a curse. And you know what? It, you're so perceptive about that, too. I'm really happy that... It's that a happened. burden you must bear. It's you true. actually walked in and you owned it. I love your, your story about the audition. Mm -hmm. You were method acting. Everybody else was all like, good luck, man, and where are you from? Yeah. And you just stood in a corner. Well, it was it was more like... Um, it wasn't method acting. It was it was basically the this acting coach said that, you know, when you when you walk on the set or, or walk on the in, in the studio or wherever you're going to go to read for this, you have to be the character. Be in character. You have to be in character. And it was great for me because I was always, you know, I'd come in with my little, you know, IZOD shirts and, and sweaters and go, hi, how are you doing, you know, yeah. and do my, my reading. And they would go, no, nah, it just doesn't look right. So, uh, so when I did it, I was very uh, solemn and, and, excuse me, is there a place where I can be by myself? And the poor secretary was, yeah, over there, you know. And so I went to a room by myself. And then when I went into read, there's all these guys that I knew, you know, Gene yeah. Roddenberry, and I'm like excited. But I just walked in and said, um, hi, did the reading, thank you very much, and left. And you were one of the last ones cast. They were sold. Yeah, that yeah. was a tough one. To, and here oh, you was, are. I mean, people to this day, do you get stopped more so by your voice? Because the makeup was extraordinary. You spent more time in the chair than probably anybody else. How, how many hours would it take to get prepared? It started, out to, be, it started out to be two and a half hours. Wow. And then it, then it went, uh, over the years, they got it down to about an hour and 40 minutes. Unbelievable. But, uh, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty tough. I mean, I didn't enjoy the makeup. The makeup was the worst part. And then you also directed quite a few episodes. Yeah. What's it like when you work with these people every single day? You sit in the makeup chair and then you switch hats. Were they receptive or were they like, seriously, Dorn? Well, seriously? you know, the, the, the thing is <laughs> that you, you have to know that they're going to treat you just like they treat all directors. Which means? Which means is that, you know, you have to be, you know, light on your feet and take their crap is basically what it is. <laughs> well said. But they were very, but, they, you know, everybody was very nice. I mean, the one thing about us is that we, we're not like cut-ups where we just waste time. We, we never were that. We always came in, we knew our stuff, we knew our lines, we, and so it was very easy for, uh, to direct them. And so many of your die-hard fans know your lines, they know your stuff, they speak your language. What happens when you get people coming up to you and they talk Klingon? Do you get that? I, I, it's just a blank look. Right. I, I, yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> you Can know. you say hi in Klingon? Well, the, the hi in Klingon is nuchnech. Nuchnech. Not wow, bad. it's like, Not I have bad. a little something I need to get rid of my nook. Well, you gotta, you gotta have a hairball, first right? of all, to, to be able to speak that way. But, uh, but it's, um, it means, what do you want? And that's a Klingon greeting. Okay, so you're going to be hearing a lot of that, because I know you're doing your thing this weekend as part of the uh, Comic-Con convention. Yes. So if people want to tweet you, good luck, because you have not sent a tweet out since August 21st. And right now, I know for a fact that our viewers are big on tweeting you. What's the deal? You know, I, I, they were, I was trying to, to tweet upstairs here, and, yeah. and I couldn't do it. I'm just, I'm lame when it comes to... Well, you're busy, like, flying planes and stuff. Is yeah, you, you know, I can do that, I can do that. But, you know, when it comes to tweet, the people upstairs were going, well, just do this. I'm like, blank look again. <laughs> um, well, can I... And they said, no, you just do this, and you just do that. And I'm like... I, I'm going to start crying here in a Listen, second. Listen, try it just the same. It is at AKA Wharf, also at Fan Expo Canada. Make sure you see this gentleman. You're such a delight. This Saturday and Sunday, Metro Toronto Convention Center, Comic-Con Toronto, 
Com. Please come back anytime sure and will. always. You Maybe bet. you can come co-host with me one day. We could talk. I would, I would love to. I you would know? love to. Except it, not, not the the high heels. You're not the, you're not the high heels. Oh, I'm going to well, show you. Well, just I need you to have be that much shorter than I am. He is so tall. Don't even, please. You have to see my Hulk. I'm so sensitive about my height. What? I spent two hours in a makeup chair dressed as Hulk. I have to show you that picture. Oh my we god. We should have a war versus a Hulk off one day on the show. Now I'm leaving. Okay. <laughs> oh, it was going so well.